I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. What kind of ice cream are we making? Well, this ice cream is no churn. And usually I have like peanut butter cup ice cream or cookie dough ice cream, but this is lemon ice cream. We have like lemon Italian ice, lemon sherbet. Is it sherbet or sherbet? It's sherbet. It's like the best of both worlds. Lemony and creamy. creamy. <laughs> it really is the best of both worlds. You get that creaminess that you're gonna get from ice cream, but you get the lemoniness that you get from like an Italian ice or a sh I say it's sherbet. And a sherbet. You don't even need an ice cream maker. You, can you just don't do need this an way. ice cream maker yeah. and it comes out really oh. well. Trust me. It's dangerous so, to have in the freezer at all times. It's gonna sound really weird how we make this, but I'm telling you, it's really going to mimic like real ice cream without an ice cream maker. Let's do it. So it starts off with, I use a loaf pan that is freezer safe. You can use any container that is freezer safe. What you wanna do before you get started is just pop your loaf pan or whatever you're using in the freezer for about 15 minutes while you're making the ice cream, it will help the ice cream solidify if your container's mm. cold. It's like chilling a beer glass before a beer. <laughs> Where do we start here? I'm gonna say our cream. <laughs> Stop looking at it, it's beautiful. Anyways. First ingredient time, what on is that? The fun. So in order to make the base for our ice cream, the base is heavy cream. So I have some cold heavy cream here. Cold ingredients really help your ice cream solidify. Mm -hmm. So you just wanna put all that heavy cream in the base of a mixer or you can use a hand mixer. Mm -hmm. And then to that, we're just gonna add a little pinch of salt. Mm, a little salt. And then would you like to add the I vanilla would. extract? Vanilla extract makes everything better. Amen to that. And then you're just going to whip the crap out of this. So you're basically just going to make whipped cream and you want to make stiff peaks. So you really want that whipped cream to be really stiff. It's gonna take like a minute or two to reach your stiff peak level, probably about two minutes. So it's getting there. You can see in the mixture, this is kind of like your standard whipped cream but you'll see that it's going to get stiffer and stiffer here as you keep whipping, and it's gonna hold its shape more and more, and that's when you know it's stiff peaks. So it's going to stiff right now. And I'd say that looks about good. See how it's really staying formed? Just like this. That's really, really stiff. It's not gonna kind of move off of my whisk. I love stuff peaks. <laughs> stiff peaks. Stuffed peaks. <laughs> That's what I call one stiff peak. Now let me have a taste. Mmm. Now mm. it's completely savory. There's no sugar in it right now. Whoa. It's basically just whipped cream with a little savory bit of vanilla in there. Cream. Cool, savory. right? <laughs> Business idea. <laughs> love it. The only other things that we need to add to our lemon ice cream are some sweetened condensed milk, which is going to sweeten and thicken your ice cream, and some lemon juice and lemon zest. So we need to get yeah. zest in. Do you ever squeeze lemons in your eyes? <laughs> so we gotta do about two teaspoons of lemon zest, okay. and about a third of a cup of fresh lemon juice. Make sure it's fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice making, makes all the difference. Yeah, yeah, lemon ice cream. So we gotta get zest in, because it's gonna take a while. All right, you zested, beautiful. It's my time to juice, right? It's your time to juice. And what am I juicing? We have a fancy little juicer here. How does this go? Like this? Just like that. <laughs> That's cool. Squeeze yeah. away. Okay. Okay, so the juice is going oh. right in. You have such a beautiful voice. What goes in first? <laughs> <laughs> Zest or juice? Okay, so I don't know why I'm holding this because <laughs> Condensed I like milk. to put the condensed milk in first. Is it the whole thing? Yes. Yeah, so the condensed milk is going to add that nice sweetness, again, as I said, and thicken this baby up, or else it's just going to be the consistency of whipped cream. Whippy whip. Good it idea. does the real trick, though. It looks really weird, but I'm telling you, when you fold it in and freeze it, it becomes ice cream. Such a good idea. Okay, so I added the condensed milk in. Yes. Then you want to add your lemon juice. 
and the lemon juice is going to add a little bit of a tartness, cut the sweetness of the condensed, condensed milk mm. and give it that lemony taste. Yeah. But it's the so true good. lemony taste is, is the from zest. the zest. And that way you're not adding something that's like super, super sour, just so right. much lemon yeah, juice. Yeah, it's not acidic, it's just like essence of lemon. Right, right, right. Mm. And that's exactly what we're going for. Can I give it the first fold? Give it the first fold. Look at this beauty. So you want to fold it in. Yeah, give it a nice scoop. Like that. Just like that. And just keep folding it in until your zest is all mixed in and your lemon juice and it looks nice and even. Sample just to make sure that the lemon flavor is right. Mm. It's still going to look like whipped cream though. Is it good? Oh my God, can we just eat it now? Why do I have to freeze it? <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually eat it like this and it'll be like whipped cream. Wow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick all of it into our little chilled pan. And you just let it freeze. And then you just let it freeze. It's so easy. So then I'm just gonna take my spatula and just make sure it's in a nice even layer, just like you're making a tub of ice cream. And then if you wanna add anything to the top of your ice cream, sometimes I put a little bit of zest on the top. Ooh. Or you can hold that for a second for me. I have a little bit of toasted coconut here. Yum. And you can just add that toasted coconut. Quality control. Right on the top mm. of your ice cream. You could do nuts, you could do uh, like pistachios on top. Yum. What about or fruit or berries or something? Or like frozen raspberries or blueberries, that's a great one. Now all you have to do is freeze this puppy. Okay. So I just like to put plastic wrap right over the top of it just to kind of seal it off. Yep. And then I have a freezer safe plastic bag and I'm just gonna pop, pop it, right it in the plastic bag. It won't seal all the way unless you have a really small container, but just have it like that. It'll kind of protect it from freezer burn. You want to bring this to the freezer, freeze it for at least 12 hours. It's better when it's 24 hours. <laughs> and then you just want to pop it out. This will save so well for like up to a month, which is pretty awesome. So we have to wait 12 hours? I have some extra on hand. Oh, is this magic? I believe in magic and a young girl's heart. <laughs> what? Have you been eating out of this? Yes. <laughs> It's like a week old. How do we try this? Well, so the best thing to do yeah. is to let it rest oh. on the counter for about 10 minutes to soften up. It's gonna have that kind of like gelato texture unless you soften it up. It's delicious. So 10 minutes. You always make me wait. And then we can eat. You got my love? Cheers. Oh yeah. I ain't messing around. Mmm. How can something be creamy and refreshing at the same time? You want to go back for every bite. And that's what we're doing. Wow. That is so good. Amazing. So fresh, so lemony. Mm. I'm never stopping. Mm. Check this out. <laughs> it's so good. On tastefullygross.com. You won't regret it. That's loud, love. That's loud. I don't like loud noises. Do we need to take a moment? 